let us learn curve editor toolbar and its tools which is common for both pattern and boundary entities for this instance i am start creating a pattern and show you some of the editing capabilities in the curve editor toolbar for that i am start creating a pattern first by right clicking over the pattern and say create pattern you can see a empty pattern is created go to the curve editor toolbar here from the beginning you can able to collect those geometries from the 3d model by using this first function you can move over the surface and you can click and you can able to select those curves by finishing the green tick mark so now i switch off my 3d surface uh, model and and i want to cut this particular area and i want to complete as a pocket here so for that i'm using a segment option called cut and select this one and cut the both edges here and i close my limit cut and i'm deleting this particular line now you can able to join by using a join tool option here with a straight and select the first edge and select the second edge and you can complete it uh, by a single curve here so you can if you see this it is an simply created with the joining function while the curve is selected you can able to see the numbers within the curves which is show you the start point and end point of the curve for this instance the one is starting here and the 46 is ending here so if you do the pocketing or maybe finishing operation the start point of the toolpath will be remain same so for this instance i try to move the first point to somewhere around midpoint of this line so for that you go to the curve edit here and insert a new point because it's, there is no midpoint available here so for this instance uh, i'm selecting uh, between points uh, or you can use a parameter value so saying that uh, enter a value between 1 to 47 between 27 and 28 I need a midpoint so I enter 27.5 and apply you can able to create a midpoint there so from the midpoint 28 I'm going to re-edit my numbers here go to the edit uh, curve again and say um, by selecting this uh, point you say renumber it now you can able to see my first point has been moved here uh, and maybe the end point is here actually so like this you can able to reorder your numbers that means the start point and end point of the curve and i'm completing this particular pattern here and start creating another pattern here go to the curve editor toolbar again for this instance uh, i would like to create a pat, uh, pattern for a closed pocket for that i'm selecting a rectangle here and uh, select the start point and end point of the pocket at the same time if you uh, see from the top view i switch off my shading for a while uh, i would like to move this point 5mm away uh, in the both ends so that my pocket get cleared so i select these two points and say enter 5 in this green box here so it automatically moves here then deselect it and again select this edge two points and say minus 5 to move this edge so if you switch on the model you can able to see uh, the curve has been extended in the both sides also you can able to uh, trim by using an option here uh, let's say i'm draw a line to show this functionality uh, maybe i want to move some more inside from this particular uh, limit to intersection function so you can simply click over the curves whichever is not necessary and now uh, it is different curves one is this curve and another one is this curve now you can able to merge these two curves by selecting uh, merge selected option so now you can say the two curves is converted into your first one curve actually so like that you can uh, able to create the pattern functionality also you have function uh, to create text here uh, you can uh, maybe create horizontal text vertical text and maybe a text on curve actually you just draw a curve 
first and you by selecting the curve you can input the, the text over the curve also you can create a text over the circle the same functionality which is available in the toolpath editing also having uh, the same here also move rotate mirror offset scale and transform functionality by using these editing functionalities you can able to finish your profiles